stop the car. What's happening? Hey guys, my name is Lion. Welcome back to the final chapter of Unmetal. And just as a quick side note, I changed my setup. Look, I have more depth in the background. It's no longer a wall. It's actually a real thing, man. It's more stuff. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, uh, I'm excited to finish this because I have so many different games I want to share with you guys. But in the last episode of Unmetal, we uncovered so many different an anomalies. We've had a samurai, terminators, freaking ghosts and dungeons and uh i don't know if you guys noticed but there there was a moment where i did genuinely get jump scared by one of those ghosts and this is a pixelated game so yeah that that's gonna be fun when i play an actual horror game in the future but uh i think we're supposed to find a key to go ahead wait and yeah, yeah and get to the helicopter so we can ultimately leave and i'm noticing i'm picking these up i pick c1 and c1 oh so i have to unite them ah so now it's a c2 so maybe maybe i have to collect more and make c4. there it was general x's private elevator can i go up Ah, uh, no, I can't. I need a key, of course. So we need... Did, did I already go through here? I didn't go through here, man. You're having brave fart moments. But yeah, you guys, uh, we are finally getting the key so we can get to the helicopter. And I believe we're going to face General X because... What's this? What does this do? All right, so we are gonna avoid the big tank of death. That's what we're gonna do. Cause apparently punching it makes it blow up. But you guys, moving my setup, oh my gosh. I don't know if anyone out there has ever uh, went ahead and like moved it. I know that over time you just pick a spot and you stay complacent. Uh, more C1s, that way we can transform it and make it to C4. Boom, now we have a bomb. But uh, but yeah, you guys, I know sometimes we get complacent and uh, you just pick a spot and it just stays there. Me personally, I'm an antsy guy and I always like to try different things at different angles and I'm always moving my furniture a around. with an X, just like Robert told me. There it was, the secret room where they kept the helicopter key. Why would they keep a key in such a creepy place instead Man. of an office? Right. The more I thought about it, the more things felt out of place. I had a strange feeling, like a gut feeling that something was just wrong. Yeah, I can feel, I can understand where you're coming from. But yeah, you guys, me, I always switch my furniture around. That way the whole house feels like a new house. I highly recommend it. Plus, you'd be surprised how much dust collects under shit. You, man. Mr. Fox, you have finally arrived. General X? The same. Are you searching for a key, Mr. Fox? Perhaps one for a helicopter? Hmm? You won't find it here, Mr. Fox. I'm afraid that your contact has betrayed you. <laughs> Fuck! Don't blame him. He's been the victim of my counterintelligence. Mm. Right there, in front of me, mm. was General X, the puppet master of Operation Jericho. Oh. Not only was he a merciless, psychopathic asshole, <laughs> he was so smart that he could predict my every move. For starters, he tricked me and Robert into searching for this room. You had us waiting longer than expected, Mr. Fox. If you drew some arrows in the labyrinth, I would have come sooner. That would remove a certain charm, don't you think? By the way, I brought some company. Oh man. Colonel! Doctor! I see you're already acquainted. I'll get to the point, Mr. Fox. Surrender. Otherwise, we'll start executing our guests. There were too many people. If I opened fire, Harris and the Doctor could die. Let me guess. 
you're considering the option of shooting. But you know that Harris and the doctor could die. Fuck, yeah. <laughs> he read my mind, but that asshole X was a clean shot. If I shot quickly, I could kill him. Now you're probably thinking I'm stupid for being so exposed, and that you can kill me with a quick enough shot. My god. If you shoot and kill me, that would be the end of the final boss of all of this. You'd be a hero. Do you really have such a low opinion of my intellect, Mr. Fox? Shit. This was part of his plan. He was here on purpose. Yeah. I was thinking that he might have worn a bulletproof vest. By now, you should be thinking that I'm wearing a bulletproof vest. Shooting an armored man would be foolish, don't you think? Fuck. <laughs> he read my mind once again. But even if his body was covered, his head was not. One bullet between his eyes and goodbye. But you're not a quitter, Mr. Fox. It's only logical that you'd consider shooting me in the head. I will admit, a challenging yet possible shot. An Olympian trial of marksmanship, reflexes, and luck. Let me spare you the trouble. Sergeant! Yes, sir! Shoot me in the head at point blank range. But, sir! What? That's an order. What is happening here? Uh, yes, sir! The bullet went through his head, but the bastard was unfazed. Return to your post, Sergeant. Yes, sir! What? <laughs> what you're staring at in awe, Mr. Fox, is a projected image of myself. A uh, hologram. Precisely, Mr. Fox. And now that it's obvious that you can't kill me, let's conclude the matter of your surrender. Or are there not enough dead bodies to convince you? Just give me 10 seconds to think about it. Of course. Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, dude. I don't want to. Uh, I can't. Ah. Uh, I don't want to shoot the doctor. Harris, the father. Doing what he can for his daughter. Ah, uh, dang. It's okay. I surrender. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. So what, what was the point of collecting? Oh, wait a second. The tank. You don't think I'm supposed to? No, that would be ingenious. To use the explosive, I needed something to act as a timer. Oh, the freaking watch that we collected in the first episode. No. Oh, what are the odds? The first episode, 10 chapters back, we got this watch, and I've been wondering what the hell can I use it for? And here we are. Oh, maybe I have to put it in the tank. Maybe, let me see. Maybe? Dude, the only reason why I even considered that was in Metal Gear Solid 3. Uh, there's this hangar where the Shagohod, the basically those who didn't watch my last chapters, uh, is this tank that can throw a nuclear weapon from across any part of the world. And you have to put C4 on some of those tanks that are around the Shagohod to explode the base. And that's the only reason why I even considered putting C4 in here. All right, let's try this again. Maybe the options would be different. Okay, so... Colonel, the doctor, he's a hologram, point blank. Irony, watch out. Okay, so what? Watch out. Have you already made up your mind, Mr. Fox? Yes, I've decided that. Watch out, behind you! <laughs> Did you seriously think that I'd fall for such an old trick? For the record, I warned you. Okay, so that's exactly what I was Doctor. supposed to do. I'm fine. What happened? An explosion. Oh, what about the, the guard father? behind you received the brunt of it. Colonel! 
Oh no, that's not the father, that's the colonel. He's alive. Looks like he just blacked out. We have to leave before reinforcements arrive. I'm taking Harris with me. It's best not to move him. We don't know if he has any fractures or internal wounds. I'll take the risk. He can't stay here. Oh man. That's awesome. Well hey, like, can what can you do, lady? Uh can I can I like no? Okay, none of these people have anything. I'm just gonna double check because you just never know with games like this. Like somebody must have some type of secret, maybe. No, I guess not. Alright, Colonel Harris, we gotta go. Doctor! Let's go! I'm not coming, Fox. What? Why not? Right. There are injured that require my attention. Oh my god. And gosh. I don't want to leave my father alone. Mm. What? They were going to kill you! No, they weren't. It was just a trick to catch you. And if I leave, my father won't work and they'll kill him. Mm. Run! Go away! I'll come back for you with the cavalry. You have my word. I left that room. Carrying the Colonel. Wait, you're saying that you managed to rescue Colonel Harris? That's correct. Well, Mr. Fox, let's see what you invent to remove him from this story. <laughs> Lieutenant, we found a corpse in the remains of the helicopter. What? Who is he? We don't know, Lieutenant. It was totally carbonized by the fire. Take him to the lab. I want a forensic analysis done yesterday. Do you understand me, Wachowski? Yes, sir. Fuck. We killed Colonel Harris. May God forgive us. No, he's not Harris. The Colonel died a month ago in an ambush. These are his personal belongings, his dog tag, his watch. Don't you remember, Sergeant? We found them on his corpse. That man has never seen the Colonel. He's just trying to confuse us with his lies. Fuck's sake, he has absolutely no evidence for what he's saying. I have this. But, what? If I'm not mistaken, it's a graduation ring for the 48th Commission of Officer Candidate School. Colonel Harris graduated in a 48th Commission of Officer Candidate School. Sergeant, you don't believe him, do you? With all due respect, sir, I only said that Colonel Harris graduated in the 48th Commission of Officer Candidate School. He's trying to fool us, Sergeant. I remind you that there are more rings like this one. Yes, but not with the same smell. It reeks of shit. <laughs> Sir, permission to smell the ring? Fuck. It smells just like Colonel Harris's anus. How what? Would you How know? the hell do you know what the Colonel's <laughs> anus smells like? <laughs> right. I'm not authorized to reveal that information, sir. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> this is getting out of hand. <laughs> what Mr. Fox, continue what your story. Let's see if we can finish this once and for all. What? <laughs> Oh, d d dude, that just caught me way off guard. Okay, we gotta, we gotta take the. T what do you mean? Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh. Mm, okay, okay. Base area is clear. Returning to my position. Oh, that was close. I thought I had to shoot and fire, but no. Sometimes violence isn't always the uh, the the answer. It, sometimes you can get away. Whoa, wait, wait. Let me let me see. Awesome. Wait, maybe I have to. Okay, okay. Let me see. Does he go down? He does go down. <laughs> that just reminded me of that one uh video. It don't go down. It do go down. All right, cool. What? What happened? Oh my gosh. Okay, Colonel Harris, look, we're gonna have to hide again. Just for a quick second. Just for a quick second. Actually, can we go in here? Let's hide in here. Let's hide in here. Let's just relax. Okay. Well, that, hey, well, that, that, that kind of worked out pretty. Did I just make things worse? I did just make things worse. Are they, are they leaving? Perfect. Awesome. Let's get out of here. Man, I, I, how did they even know? Okay. Oh, no. Come on. Is there another guy that's coming? Maybe. Maybe. Well, here, let me take the advantage and go, 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 go. Ha. 
Awesome. Oh my gosh. The amount of people. The amount of people is insane. I'm supposed to go in here. Alright, Colonel Harris, you're gonna have to wait, okay? I'm gonna have to go uh, kick some butt. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was great. I ran out of first aid kits. Luckily, the cabinet in the sick bay was full of them. I am not going back to the sick bay. We are taking our chances for the rest of the game. One health bar. And we're good. Let's go. Alright, come on. Alright, Colonel. Oh man, I, I went up in the private elevator of. Lieutenant, they found a bullet in the carbonized corpse head. A bullet? So it wasn't us after all. Colonel Harris was murdered. Hey, friend, don't look at me. I haven't killed anyone. I'm not your friend. Oh, for fuck's sake, shut up. Wachowski, send the bullet to Science Officer Hollister for analysis. And tell him to collate it with the gun Mr. Fox had on him. Maybe we'll have a surprise. I want the results of that five minutes ago. Understood? Yes, sir. I love the way that looks. I love the way they animated that. All right. There's not... There, you guys... Wow! That asshole General X had some cool music equipment. Multi-band equalizer, auto-amplified subwoofer, and... No way. Double deck cassette player. Fuck, you could record directly from one cassette to another. <laughs> oh, that made me feel old. Okay, so that was my mom's era, like recording cassettes to one cassettes. Now, the one thing I do remember, and I don't know if you guys are old enough to remember, uh, but there was a time where you would have a VCR and the VCR had okay. Wait, let me let me rewind. There there were TVs that had VCRs under them, and some of the TVs had the record option. So what you would do is you would watch a normal channel on TV. I don't know, say Nickelodeon, with uh, Slime Time and all that back then in the days of Drake and Josh and all this other stuffs. Anyways, um, I remember when you would click record, it would record the whole channel. And you would always have it on the on the cassette tape. That that's that's amazing. Now we don't need that. Now we just we either watch stuff on YouTube or uh or we just you know have like a dozen subscriptions for like Disney Plus and all this stuff. Everything's just went digital. But nothing, nothing will ever replace physical copy, you guys. You'll always have it. Until it physically disintegrates. And then you could always argue, hey, digitally is better, but you know, eh. Everybody has their own, uh, their own stuffs. They like, you know. All right, so I am beating the crap out of everything, right? All right, so there's nothing else I can truly do here. All right, let's go. That I'm aware of, anyway. Oh my god! Fuck! I found out that bastard kept a fully stocked armory behind his office. I see. We're preparing for the final fight. That's what this is. Why are so many? That's exactly what it is. Look at all this. It's gonna be an epic fight. It's gonna be an epic fight. Dude, I am stuck to the brim. Look at all this stuff. Hell yeah. All right, well here, since they gave us a multitude, can I like- It wasn't wise to use weapons there. Come on, man. I, it's just a rocket. You know what I mean? It's just a rocket. All right. All right, Colonel Harris. Get the hell out of here. Where to now? Up. More up. Oh, no. There's another door right here. Do we go through it? Ah, man. I guess we go. We go up even more. Up even more. I finally reached the last floor. Lieutenant. We already have the ballistics results. And? You're right, sir. Ballistics established that the bullet was fired from Mr. Fox's gun. You killed Colonel Harris, you bastard. Sergeant, behave. Sir, permission to execute that assassin. Permission denied. First off, we can't confirm the identity of the victim until we have the forensics report. Second, according to policy, Mr. Fox has the right to finish his story. 
Mr. Fox, continue. And you better not contradict the evidence we're collecting. Oh man, it's looking kind of weird, man. I, I don't think, man, knowing this game, I don't think. Mr. Fox, leaving so soon and without a farewell. That's not very neighborly of you. And what's that on your shoulder? That's personal property, Mr. Fox. Haven't your parents taught you never to steal? Mm. General X stood in my way, assuming it was really him and not another hologram. Are you asking yourself if I'm another hologram? This guy. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> no, not this time. It is I, in the flesh. Good, then I'll... Put a bullet in my head. You read my mind. Please tell me, Mr. Fox. How does one shoot that which they cannot see? What? What the fuck? Do you like my new device, Mr. Fox? Optical electronic hollow camouflage. The latest in nanotechnology. Obviously, if you start firing randomly, there's still a chance I may be hit. I believe dumb luck is a concept you're fond of? Mm. So if you don't mind, I invite you to expend some ammunition with some friends. Okay, here we go. Okay, alrighty, my dude. Okay, alrighty, wait, 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 wait. Protect eyes from hard light. What if I have yet to... Okay, so we have yet to use that, and I don't think we need to. And we are in the middle of a fight, so let's see what happens. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, wait, wait, do I still got the... Do I still got the glasses on? No! Just take these off, man. Um... Let's equip that. Okay, there we go. Like, what the hell? Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, you got him? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, wait, wait. No, no, no. Oh, I gotta reload. Come on, man. This is really a thing. Okay. Where is this guy? Right. Oh, this is getting out of hand. Uh, I need, I need grenades. Grenades cover a large... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, okay. I, I just need this. I just need to stop the bleeding. I got a key for something. I got a key for something. No, 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 get away, get away, okay, they have to stop, oh, come on, right there, right there, okay, so, obviously, oh, okay, no, I need the gun, the gun is the best option, in this situation, and then I need to stop the bleeding, I'm gonna die, do you have many bullets left, Fox, <laughs> I imagine not, I suspect you've stashed some grenades, though, let's find out, oh, come on, man, this dude. Oh, why? What the hell? Okay, no, no, no. Forget the grenade. Why? Whoa! What the heck? What the heck? Oh, the electric magnetic grenades! The electric magnetic grenades! Go, go, go! No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. We can punch it. We can... No, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No, 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 I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Aww. All right, let's try this again. I got a little bit more grenades this time, so maybe I can just spam it. Wait, wait. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. That. Okay, no, no. So the electromagnetic grenades is the way to go. And then let me heal. Awesome. And then one more time. Awesome. And then we still have one of these. Uh huh. Uh huh. And then we're gonna do another one of these. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm spamming it. You don't even see it coming. You don't even see it coming. Wah, 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 wah. Perfect. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, now I'm gonna equip my gun. Just in case this dude wants to come, I'm gonna reload. I'm ready. Well, you should be low on ammo by now. Which means it's time to comfortably finish you. Try me. By the way, I'm sure you may have noticed by now. No. While you were distracted with my friends. I took the liberty to follow you around and recover some of my stolen property. 
Wait a second. What? What? I thought. So the key card. All my stuff. That's. I thought I was for some reason recollecting different things. So what was happening on screen was he was pickpocketing me. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, I dare you. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, come on. Oh, you do. Mm. How do I even do this? How do I do this? Uh, there's got to be something in here I can use. Uh, something, something, something I can use. Uh, the fire extinguisher, maybe? No? Ah, oh, come on. Dude, 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 dude. There has to be something here. Let me see. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Something. Oh. Oh. The, the grenades. Oh, right there. And then I'm going to equip my gun. Oh, what? Come on. Okay, okay, okay. So, this is where it's at right there. Wait, wait, let me, let me. Can I? Yes, that's way better. Okay, yeah. Okay, where are we? Where are you? Where are you? Is that you? Is that you? No, come on. He is fast. He's fast. Okay, go. Switch. Oh, yeah. Oh, we can, we can do this. We can do this. I think he's not that tough. Well, what? Oh, this guy. You this guy. managed to injure me, Mr. Fox. Sincerely, this was beyond my expectations. Luckily, you've brought my first aid kits. Hope you don't mind that you're missing one. So, you've been stealing my stuff. Your stuff. Everything you've acquired is from my base, Mr. Fox. And as the proverb states, one who steals from a thief will receive a hundred years of pardon. That bastard had been stealing from me while I was busy destroying his machines. And I'm sure he was going to steal more stuff as he needed it. Ah, uh, then how, how would I stop? How, how do I stop this guy? Ah, uh, how do I stop this guy? Can I call somebody? Can somebody give me some type of pointers? You've run out of first aid kits, Mr. Fox. Unfortunately, you'll be unable to heal yourself anymore. Fortunately, it also means that you've run out of them. Which adds to the thrill. Let the best man win. Uh, this is actually getting fun. Can I call somebody mid-fight? Jesse here. Over. No, I can't call this guy. Can I call this dude? Jesse here. Do you copy? I hear you. Guess what I found? The love of your life? Your photos. Oh, really? They didn't destroy him? No. They must have Diogenes Syndrome. <laughs> are you saying my pics are trash? <laughs> Man, these pictures leave a lot to be desired. Did you take them with one of those disposable cardboard cameras? <laughs> You're such an ass. Only the smartest of them. Take them with you, my friend. I hope they help you for something. Will do. Over and out. Such an odd conversation to have. What the fuck? In the middle of a fight. You bastard! Mr. Fox, first you complain because I remove your belongings. And now you complain again when I return them? What? Cheer up. I simply gave back your rusty wire. Aw, oh, man. Although, maybe I've been a little brusque. You can find it between your ribs. By the way, Mr. Fox, let's see if you can kill me before bleeding to death. <laughs> Good luck. This dude. Okay. All right, let's stop the bleeding. Oh, no. He took my freaking thing. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have the, the blood bag because it does fill your HP instantly. So let's see what we can do. All right, here we go. Oh, man. Okay. No, no, no. Not yet. Not yet. Hit him. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wait, no, no, no. I got to heal. No. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Come on, come on, come on. Where you at? No, he's too far. Come on. Where are you? Where are you? 
This is a hell of a different boss fight. I, I don't think I've ever... Oh, yes. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, he's too far. He's too far. I need to get right with the aim. If I can aim him correctly. Right here. Mm. And then shoot. Got him. I got him. Yeah. Yes. I have underestimated you. Mr. Fox. I got him. I got him. Boss defeated. Oh, that was a fun boss fight. Oh, that was a fun boss fight. Got the keys. What are you waiting for? Finish me. Time without paying for your crimes? No way. I'll take you to a trial so they condemn you and lock you in a cell to rot for the rest of your life. I see. Tell me, Mr. Fox, how are you going to take me if you can't move? What? What? You're so predictable. I knew you wouldn't kill me or let me die. Just like all of my other subordinates, they consistently led you directly into my trap, Mr. Fox. Honestly, I hope you were going to surprise me again, like that little spark in the basement. But once more, the pen is mightier than the sword. By the way, thanks for volunteering to test my new paralyzer. The discharge it releases shuts down the whole peripheral nervous system. Oh, man. You should have killed me when you had the chance. See you never, Mr. Fox. The Colonel. See you never, General X. Oh, the Colonel! Are you all right, son? Uh, uh, uh. Don't worry. The effects on the paralysis will wear off soon. But it's not prudent to stay here. Come on, stand up, Fox. I'll help you walk. So, the body they found was General X's? Because it has a bullet in it? No, not yet. Well, let, let's not. Let's not jump to conclusions. Let's wait. Experience game. There was one. There's so many secrets in this game that I'm unaware of. And I go to every room and it's like I have to punch every single wall of every single part of the chapter to try to find it. Oh, man. This game is awesome. Colonel Harris and I went to the helicopter. A few minutes later, when I regained my motor skills, we took off. Oh my gosh. Lieutenant, we have the forensic report of the carbonized corpse. Hand it to the sergeant. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Looks like we can finally prove that Mr. Fox has been lying. Sergeant, what does the report say? And the physiological study confirms that the corpse with identification C4423 measures three inches taller than Colonel Alan Harris, disproving his identity. Huh. What? Then he's not the colonel. Of course not. I told you, Sergeant. Care to explain this, Mr. Fox? Are you going to tell us that he was tortured on a rack until it stretched him three inches? That would be ridiculous. He's not Colonel Harris. I never said he was. You what? You just told us that you both flew away in that helicopter. I told you we escaped together, but never said that corpse was Colonel Harris. In fact, I have no idea who it is. Are you sure you found it in the helicopter? Did you plan it yourselves to incriminate me? Like some dirty cops? How dare you? Enough games, Mr. Fox, enough. We'll find out who you are and then we'll execute you. Oh man. What now? What the hell is happening in here? Colonel. Colonel in the room, salute. At ease. Colonel Harris? You, you, you're alive. Sir, we, we thought you passed away. As you can see, Lieutenant, I'm alive and kicking. Why is this man handcuffed? We were interrogating him. He's a spy that we captured, sir. A spy? Are you pulling my leg? He's a civilian who was in prison for a crime he didn't commit. He's also the man that not only saved my life and freed me from the ex-army base, but also he found classified information about Operation Jericho. That will be essential in stopping the X-Army. For goodness sakes, that man's a fucking hero. Release him immediately. Y yes sir 
Did you tell them your heroic feat, Fox? I was at when we entered the helicopter, Colonel. But it looks like they found a corpse in the helicopter. But fuck, I don't know who he is. They say he has a bullet in his head, and it came from my gun. But I haven't killed anyone. That corpse was General X. I killed him with your gun myself. Don't you remember? Well, yeah. See you never, General X. Later, while you were regaining your senses inside the helicopter, I retrieved General X's corpse and dragged it to the helicopter's aft. That bastard was heavy. In the air. You know what happened. Hurry up, Fox. They're following us. Don't rush me, Colonel. I'm getting used to the controls. This piece of junk has levers and I love buttons this. I love everywhere. this so much right now. But don't panic. I think we'll be able to reach Allied territory before they catch up. Then I'll call the cavalry. Charlie, Alpha, Charlie, Alpha. Five, four, four, three, eight. Do you copy? Damn it! This radio isn't working. Fucking piece of shit. Don't worry, Colonel. As soon as we reach Allied territory, they'll stop pursuing us. Don't worry. Son, with no radio, when this fully armed piece of Soviet junk pings their radar, the first thing they're gonna do when we don't answer is take us down. Fuck. So we'll be shot at if we keep going, or we'll be shot at when we turn around. Affirmative. We're between a rock and a hard place. We'll mm. abandon the helicopter as soon as we cross the border. I'm gonna search for the parachutes. But jumping would still be risky in this jungle terrain. You have them, Colonel? We're nearly there. There's only one, Fox. You jump and deliver the documents to the Allies. Are you insane, Colonel? They won't believe me. And you don't know how to pilot this junk. I'm dead to them anyway. You're young. You have your life ahead of you, son. Take this ring. Show it to them. They'll believe you. They did not. Fuck, it reeks of shit. <laughs> well, that's because those asshole bastards were going to snatch it as they put their hands on me. Oh my so gosh. I hit it in the only safe place I had left. My ass. <laughs> Come on, son, put on the parachute. Colonel, you need to jump and tell them everything yourself. We argued about who had to jump, but I had to admit that Mr. Fox had one convincing argument. Fox, what are you waiting for? Hurry up, son. We are running out of time. For heaven's sake, put on the parachute. No, this reminds me... The next thing I remember was waking up, hanging from the parachute tangled to a tree. The owner of a farm who spotted me arrived a few minutes later. After tending to my wounds and offering me food, he was so kind as to bring me here to the base. The lieutenant and the sergeant were shocked and immediately apologized. A few days later, the army decorated me with two medals. Jesse Fox. This is so awesome. For rescuing an MIA military colonel and recovering intelligence on Operation Jericho, I, Colonel Alan Harris of the 5th Battalion, award you a Purple Cross of Civilian Courage. <laughs> that medal really exists? It didn't. They had to invent it, as they had nothing that they could provide for a civilian. You're also awarded the Gandhi Medal of the National Idiot. <laughs> National what? Idiot? Well, I received it because I didn't kill any enemies at all during the escape. As you know, militaries don't get why killing is wrong. Well, at least we agree on that. So, thanks to the documents I found, the Allies could find and sink every related submarine. This is awesome. The military base, docks, and Omega building were the target of a large operation. Everyone was arrested. Robert, the paparazzi, published the story and won a Pulitzer Prize. The two doctors and their two fathers dedicated oh themselves <laughs> to finding a cure for cancer <laughs> using nanonuclear weapons. Wasn't it one doctor? That's what they wanted us to believe. The captain of that boat 
retired with my 50 million dollars but bet. he died of gonorrhea the week after oh my god seriously the no monk. but uh. he would have deserved it <laughs> and i went back to my old life as a smuggler what the end what? <laughs> what? Wow. jesse that's the most incredible story ever told my god you have an amazing imagination you should be a video game writer you don't believe me not a word thank you very much miss incredulous hey who are those guys must be an improvised patrol don't say a word if they don't ask you anything good morning may i see your passports please good morning here you are very well let's see fuck you're Jesse Fox! Uh, yeah, that's me. Holy Jesus, I can't believe it! Hey, Jimmy, who is that guy? Fuck, Mike, he's Fox! The one who rescued Colonel Alan Harris and prevented the nuclear attacks. I really admire you, Mr. Fox. You're a fucking hero. Thanks, soldier. Here are your passports. Go, drive carefully. That's that's awesome. That really is. Are you okay? You've been very quiet. Stop the car. What's happening? What's up? Then it's true. It's all true. Now do you believe me? Kiss me. What? Kiss me now. That's it? No way. This is fast girl. Oh, all you guys. Francisco, Marcel, Jose, Javier, Versa Evil. All you, all you guys, all these people are awesome. You guys made a crazy game and I love it. Everything about this game is awesome. I love this. And game, there's so much, so many secrets. Something had to happen. Special thanks to you for playing Unmetal. Of course, of course. Hey, Jimmy, who the fuck is this Colonel Alan Harris? I don't know. Yesterday I met that guy in a bar. He was nice. I told him that I was going to slog as a guard here today. And he said if I pretended he rescued the colonel and prevented nuclear attacks when he drove by, that he'd give me a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks for saying four sentences. Can you believe it? Good morning. May I see your passports, please? Good morning. Here you are. It's been the easiest 100 bucks ever. Fuck. People make up stupid shit just to score. Yeah, dude. What? What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? This whole game has been a lie. This is <laughs> that is the biggest twist I did not see coming here. <laughs> oh my gosh. The whole freaking game was a made up story just so the dude can score. That's that that is I've never in video game history have seen or heard of a twist like that that is amazing this this oh my gosh well you guys there you have it unmetal this is the closest thing to metal gear solid we're gonna get until the originals metal gear solid one two and three come out for the nintendo switch and also we also have to look forward to the metal gear solid snake eater revamped or they're they're saying it's metal gear solid delta i'm gonna always call it metal gear Sno a solid snake eater for the ps5 so looking forward to it until next time you guys thank you so much for joining me on this adventure i love going through huge imaginative games like this this is amazing the developers made this 
just it's it's almost like they just sat down in a bar and said let's let's just write stuff and th this will work but they played great homage to the metal gear games i'm honored to have this on my channel it's awesome anyways you guys thank you for joining me in the meantime check out some of my videos subscribe like let me know what you guys think and as always i'll catch you guys in the next one